Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Daddy, and this video will be covering question 21 in our series of 100 integrals. So we're going to proceed, and this is going to be an integration by parts problem. So we're going to go right ahead and start solving it. So, now you might think, ah, what do we got to do over here now? Well, don't worry, I got your back. The first thing is to do analyze the two functions over here. So we're going to analyze these guys. And you'll be saying to yourself, oh, where, where should I put the x? Should I put in the u or dv? Listen to me. I created this table for you guys. Just use this and you guys will be perfectly fine. Now, where does x to the power 4 is? What is it? A polynomial. So it's right over here, right? This is x to the 4. And now where's log? Well, log is right over here. Right? Now, what do you do? You write your log as the u. Right? And what do you write as your dv? You write as x to the fourth. Now, once we did this, this is the, the hardest part to so analyze what you're trying to do. After this, it's quite a quite smooth sailing so you shouldn't worry and what's gonna happen over here is well I'm gonna show you a little rule I'm doing a derivative of a log x function and this is the rule for it so I'm just gonna write it over here so the dx of this right the d the dx kind of made it bad so I'm gonna write it a bit better so dx the, d, the derivative of a log b to the function of x right and it will equal to the derivative of that set function right divided by the function itself with ln of b now the b is representing the base of the log in most scenarios, you take the, the base, if you don't write it explicitly, like in this example, you take it as 10. So really, this is written with 10 over here. So let's do this derivative. And the derivative of this is the following. And that said following is, so this is the function, so this portion, right, the derivative of it. So it's just x, right? So this is going to be 1 on the top, right? And underneath, well, it just says write the function. It's just telling you write the function. So we're going to write the function. Function is x. Like I'm talking about this portion right over here, right? And the, the base is what? 10. So you're a ln of 10. That's it. That's all you have to write. And you don't forget this. Write the dx over here. Please write that. It's very crucial. Now, be scratching your head oh, how do you do this well it's an integral right so don't worry got your back and don't forget always to write the dx i forgot to write over there i made the little little bit of a mistake but once you write for this part you always include the dx written over here and this is this so you take an integral the integral of this well we just apply this rule over here that we written down from previous lectures and this uh, rule is this That's what it gives us. This is quite easy, so don't worry. Now, we're going to write down our formula. Now, let's plug in what we know. So, we know that the u is equal to log x. Right? And it's going to be multiplied by x the fifth of the power of this so it's gonna be multiplied by this right and it's being subtracted by the, the integral of v um integral containing v so the v is this right right and the du is this so we're gonna multiply this now the x gets cancelled out, so this can be written to the 4th, 
and this integral is quite easy to to solve. I'm just gonna remove it like this. This question, this, this integral is very easy to solve because I'll tell you why. Because outside the integral, so we're gonna rewrite this. So we're gonna write it like this. We're gonna make it look a lot more professional. So we're gonna drag it out. Oh, sorry. This should be a uh, lot. I forgot to write lot. So this should be a multiplication of log x and it's going to be minus by 1 divided by 5 ln of 10 now you're going to have still the integral of x to the 4th dx well this is quite similar this is easy I'll tell you why because this integral is basically this again so we do this double right, I'm going to rewrite what we know over here And after this is going to be written as the following. And we write the plus C at the end. And to make it look a bit better, we're going to write one more step to it. And it's going to equal to this. Yeah, uh, yeah. so this is all for this uh, video containing this question, and uh, that's all for this one. This one's not that uh, difficult, you guys gotta just pay attention over here and use this. This is very helpful, use this, N know which one, it's an inverse trig, log, polynomial trig, or exponential. And yeah, so that's, that's pretty much it for this question. So I hope you guys have a very, very great day. So bye guys.